And again, questions in the chat. Hey, Trey, how are you? I'm doing good. How are you doing? Doing great. I mean, I, I know this past season was kind of, you know, a bumpy road. You got injured early, got back in the season kind of late, maybe weren't 100%. Are you feeling better now with the collarbone and everything? Yeah, I mean, I feel great. One of the biggest things I took when I was training at Exos was just to show, you know, the bench press that everything's healthy there, everything's good. So I took a lot of pride in my training to really show that, you know, everything's good right there. And, you know, obviously with the 18 reps, I feel like that was a really good number for me and just kind of goes to show that everything's healed and, uh, you know, I'm back and ready to go. Hey, Trey, how are you doing today? Good. I'm doing good. How are you doing? Doing well. Thanks for asking. Just kind of wondering, has there anyone that you've kind of um, leaned on throughout this process, the, the pro day, the pre-draft, former players, former teammates that have gone through it, um, a guy like maybe Brandon Marshall, maybe we reached out to him, just to kind of get a feel for what it's all going to be like? Yeah, some of the guys I leaned on, you know, Gabe Davis, uh, DK Metcalf. I was blessed to, you know, go out in Exos in Phoenix, Arizona, and um, I was right there training with DK and, you know, talking to Gabe as well. And, you know, those are guys that helped me throughout the whole process, just, you know, get my mental ready. You know, some of the things I'm going to be seeing when coaches ask me questions, how the process goes, all that stuff. So I was really blessed to have those guys in my corner to, uh, you know, help me throughout this process and make everything smoother. Have you spoken to the Buccaneers at all? I have not. Thank you. Best of luck. Thank you. Hey, Trey, Alex Fleming, Florida Sun. Congratulations. This is your moment, young man. Thank you. Thank you. I, now, if you look at the top caliber wide receivers, they all have excellent footwork. Mm -hmm. Have you been working on your footwork since this offseason? And is your 40 time just a touch of what you have to offer? And how sneaky are you on the line of scrimmage? I feel like, you know, footwork is something I work consistently every day. One of the biggest things, you know, coming from UCS offense on film, I'm really only on the right side of the field. So I know one of the big question marks that's going to pop up for me is, can I play on the left side? You know, can I play in the slot? So I took pride in just route running, you know, my releases, uh, coming out of my breaks fast and, you know, just really sharpening that iron throughout this whole process. And, you know, I believe my 40 time, you know, was good. Honestly, I wanted to run even faster, but I feel like it was a solid time for me. And, you know, I pride myself on my releases off the line of scrimmage. You know, if you, uh, you know, watch film, you know, that's one thing that will definitely stand out is just how, how quick I get in and out of my releases. And that's something I always take pride in just as a player. You know, I'm not the biggest, you know, 220 pound receiver, but, you know, I'll, I'll make things shake on the line for sure. Trey, how did your time at UCF prepare you for a future pro career? It prepared me, you know, it's not, I couldn't even put it into words for real. You know, Coach Wyatt, you know, the things, the trials and tribulations I went through at UCF, it has 100% prepared me for, you know, this next chapter of my life. You know, Coach Wyatt, you know, I, uh, <laughs> I give a lot to him just because what he's put me through as far as, you know, mental confidence, you know, bringing the dog out of me, you know, challenging me every day, pushing me, you know, I give it to him because at the next level, it's going to be just like that. You know, I'd rather have a guy, you know, chewing me out every day than, you know, a guy telling me I'm doing great and doing good every single day. So, you know, I, I give my time here at UCF, you know, it was a blessing, man. And I learned so much, you know, been through a lot and ultimately prepared me for, you know, moments like these. Hey, uh, Trey, Matheus Arnelas from Time Out here in Brazil. Uh, congratulations for going for the NFL draft. Uh, every time that a player has some kind of injury, be it a little one or a big one, looks like they all learn from that, maybe for preparing, maybe for like the mental part of the game. What do you think it was the most that you learned with the injury that you have? A bit like uh, I found myself you know, going through this injury, it kind of told me how much I really love football, how much I, you know, love the process of getting my body back to playing. Uh, you know, I was in a dark time when I was injured because I've never been on the side of, you know, watching everybody play and I can't really do nothing just sitting on my couch. So I went through a time where, you know, the love of the game for football was there, you know, every day, every night, you know, trying to get better. And ultimately, you know, it just kind of showed me that this is what I want to do. You know, football, once it gets taken away from you and, you know, something like that gets taken for granted, you know, that's all I was thinking about. That's all I wanted to get back to. So, you know, I really found out that football is 100%, you know, what I want to do for a career. It's what I want to do in my life. And uh, ultimately, you know, that's some of the things I learned going through that whole process. Thank you. Good luck during the process. Thank you. 
Hey, Trey, here, Gonzalo from No Hadley in Argentina. Uh, my question is, uh, what, what is your, your best memory at the UCF program uh, uh, and at the, your entire career at the college football? Which uh, memory or game uh, do you have in mind uh, to qualify as the, as the best? I believe, you know, one of the biggest memories I had from UCF was just the, you know, the process leading up to the game, you know, the, the locker room conversations, you know, the brothers that I have with me now, you know, those are some of the things that, you know, I'll never take for granted. I'll remember for the rest of my life, you know, going on different trips, going to different states, you know, playing in games, you know, those are some of the things that you'll never get back. And that's some of the things that I'll take with me. And, you know, I'll remember the most. And also, you know, those, those pregame jitters, you know, walking out of that, out of that tunnel scene, you know, the stadium field, those are some of the things I'll never forget about UCF because, uh, you know, I want one that stands out to me is just Stanford. I'll never forget walking out of that tunnel, you know, playing the Power Five team, and then just seeing the the atmosphere of that game and just thinking like, wow, you know, it's a it's a blessing just to be here. Thank you and good luck with the process. Thank you, Trey. You uh, you obviously you went you were around Gabe when he was going through the process a little bit. You saw how he kind of adjusted. Um, what kind of advice did you get from him and, and, and maybe from DK as well about you know, what to expect in this process? One of the biggest things, you know, DK told me was just, you know, take it day by day. You know, a lot of the questions I asked him was just you know, really early on in the process when I was thinking like, you know, what is a scout going to ask? You know, what are the coaches going to ask in the interview? And that's some things that helped me with, you know, as, as far as Gabe too, you know, just like when coach asks you to draw the plays, there are some, certain things you look at or tips and tricks to, you know, help me stand out a little bit more. And those are some of the things that they've helped me out, you know, throughout the process. And of course, just, you know, training out in Exos, you know, being seen what DK goes through every day, well, what he does to get to, you know, how good he plays on Sundays. And that's some of the stuff that, you know, I'll take with me and I've learned to, you know, put into my game to get myself mentally prepared and physically prepared for uh, the next level, for sure. Trey, what are your plans for draft night and how exciting is it that it's almost right here? Man, it's, it's very exciting. You know, I can't even put it into words. You know, you think you've been training three to four months, you know, for this for this moment and really a lifetime of playing football, you know, for this moment. And, you know, I'm probably going to be back at home in Vieira, you know, with my, you know, small family. And, you know, it'll probably be a nervous night, you know, a very exciting night as well. And, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to it for sure. All right. Thanks, Trey. Thanks, everybody.